In this problem, we're being asked to solve this equation. So the trick is to realize that this is a quadratic equation with e to the x as the variable instead of x. So we can think of this as follows. This is really e to the x squared, right? Properties of exponents say um, that you can multiply the exponents to get this. Minus 14 e to the x plus 13 equals zero. So it's really a quadratic. So this should factor. So how? Well, it's going to look like this. Parentheses, 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 and this is equal to zero. So here we should have e to the x, and here we should have e to the x. And you can check this. When you multiply e to the x times e to the x, you end up adding the exponents. So you get e to the x plus x, which is e to the 2x. So it certainly checks. Now we just need two numbers that multiply to 13 and add to negative 14. So I think 13 and 1 should work. And they should both be negative. This way they'll add to negative 14. Negative 13 times negative 1 is positive 13. And then if you add negative 13 and negative 1, you do get negative 14. All right, good stuff. And how do you know to do this? Um, Whenever you see a problem like this with an e to the 2x and an e to the x and a number, it's one of these. It'll always factor. It's like rigged. You have a product equal to 0. So now you set each piece equal to 0. So this factor is equal to 0 or this factor is equal to 0. And we just solve each one individually. So in the first case, um, we'll just add 13 to both sides. So plus 13, plus 13. So we have e to the x equals 13. And then to get rid of the e, um, you can just take the natural log of both sides. So we have ln e to the x equals ln of 13. And these cancel, right? There's a formula that's super useful in math that says that the natural log of e to the x is x. This is like powerful. So this cancels, and so you get x equals the natural log of 13. So that's one of our answers. Okay, one of our beautiful answers. And then here you add 1, so plus 1, plus 1. So we get e to the x equals 1. And the same thing, to get rid of the e, you just put the natural log on both sides. So ln e to the x equals ln 1. And these cancel, so you get x, and then this is just ln 1, which is 0. Okay, which is 0. I'm leaving it as ln 1 because I believe the next part of the question wanted us to like write like, without logs. So without logs, um, the natural log of 13 in my calculator is approximately 2 point, uh, I don't know how many decimals the problem wanted, but 5, 6, 9, 4, 9, 3, 5, 7. I'll just put a bunch of decimals. Uh, so that's, that's the approximation. And then here, this is just 0. Okay, that's just 0. And that's it. I hope this problem has been helpful. Good luck.